and welcome back once again to Let's Play Pillars of Eternity 2. Since last session, Fedora's been a busy little bee. Um, we start today's session here at the Temple of Gorn because we're going to pop inside for a spiritual cleansing to try and help Jyoti uh, kind of, uh, you know, cure herself of those waking nightmares that she kind of has. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna hop to that uh, as soon as possible. But before we do, just a quick rundown of what we've been doing since we finished the last session, of course, which was uh, a rather enjoyable stream. Well, we ended it with a bit of coin, and so we went shopping. Uh, Fedoran doesn't like to keep uh, money burning a hole in his coin purse, and so he had to uh, lighten the burden a little bit. So we'll just go over what we bought uh, very quickly. Um, but uh, even more importantly, you might notice there's a new member of the party. Yes, Seraphen has arrived, and so we'll take a quick look at him to start with. So, I'm no expert with ciphers. I've never used one in the first game. This is the first time I'm using one in this game. So I did a little bit of reading and seeing how I want to... How do I want to play this guy? I don't know how often he's going to be in the party anyway, but how, how do I want to play him when he's going to be in the party? He's a cipher. He's a wild mind cipher, which means that uh, occasionally he might do uh, something really, really uh, spectacular and powerful, or sometimes he might do something that's going to cause an undesirable effect. The kind of guy, I'm sure, that uh, will fit right in, because Fedora regularly does things that we uh, uh, consider undesirable without even knowing it sometimes, so he'll fit right in. But yeah, with this cipher, my kind of outlook for him, we've got a damage dealer in the party in the terms of Nadog, he's a main barbarian, kind of hacking, slashing guy, the, 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 the damage dealing lunatic. Um, Jyoti's a healer, Fedora's a bit of a, a bit of crowd control, but you know, does a bit of damage as well. Uh, we, we, we are having this guy, this cipher, be our predominant crowd controller. He's going to be the, 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 the Mr. Mind. The mind, the Darren Brown of the party. So, in order to to, to to try and get that to be most effective, we need him uh, to be as accurate as possible. His accuracy is a whopping fifty nine because ciphers work on focus, and to increase focus, you need to hit things with your weapon. So we have to focus on his accuracy. So in order to do that, we've given him a couple of toys. We've given him the protective Aethes and charm, which increases his perception by one. We've given him the accuracy gauntlets that Jyoti currently, well, previously had. We've also given him this uh, cowl of the piercing gaze that nobody wanted to wear anyway, which gives plus one to perception uh, as well, which increases, of course, uh, accuracy. We've also gone for the pet that we were going to go for anyway, uh, the sky dragon worm, which gives extra damage with ranged weapons, great stuff, but also, more importantly, gives extra accuracy against distant targets. So all of those things lead into him being as accurate as possible to get a focus as high as possible, as quickly as possible, so he can cast as many spells in a short space of time. We're also going for a one-handed pistol, because that's the most accurate one-handed weapon, I think, in terms of ranged weaponry. It's not going to do a massive amount of damage, but we're not here for him. He's not, he's not here to deal damage. He's here to, to, to control things and give a bit of control to the battles. So, uh, yeah, going for the one-handed pistol, nothing else in his other hand, p uh, shield or otherwise, to maximise that accuracy. We give him a couple of, uh, of the uh, pet summons as well. So that's the kind of outlook for him. Focus building as quickly as possible, and then using his mind-controlling techniques. So in terms of his abilities then, we're focusing on his skills, sleight of hand. He's a bit of a roguish character, so he's going to be the party thief. Not much call for a thief in our party, really, but, you know, behind closed doors, who's to say what he might get up to? Uh, and metaphysics is a cipher, he's all about the mind, you know in between beyond mysteries of souls and he kind of kind of links in there somehow uh, and we don't have anybody in the party that's doing that right now so it fits in uh, from a balanced purpose um so in terms of his abilities um that i have picked for him um i've gone for the deception really the deception route because all of these are the the kind of crowd controlling mind manipulation kind of spells so blinding the target um this one also uh, is a passive ability increases the affliction duration so all those crowd control abilities get extra duration uh, we have gone for mind wave which is actually a damage dealing spell so he's got at least one uh, means of dealing damage with a spell 
I picked this one because it's raw damage and there's no kind of counter to it. Um, just raw damage and does a bit of AoE crush damage as well to, to enemies in a, in, a, in a kind of a cone behind the main target. Tenuous Grasp, which causes Shaken and Confused. Whispers of Treason, which causes Charm. This could be the bread and butter. We then move to level 2 spells. Draining Whip, which is a passive, which increases the focus gain of the, uh, of the Soul Whip. Uh, Mental Binding, which paralyzes and immobilizes. Puppet Master at level 3, which dominates. And at level 4, we've maxed out the focus at the start of the battle. So that's the kind of that's the kind of uh, build we're going for: heavy focus, quick building focus, accuracy to get that focus up quickly, and then let loose with a plethora of mind controlling spells. And they can do a tiny little bit of damage with mind wave. We might get some more damage dealing spells to kind of complement a little bit because all of his um, mind controlling spells target will. So if we reach a character that's got a high will save. He will become a little bit useless, so we need a bit of an alternative uh, purpose for him. So we'll get a couple of damage dealing spells scattered in and amongst the main uh, bread and butter of his uh, of his other spells. So that's a little bit about Seraphon. Don't know how it's going to work. It's going to be interesting to see uh, what his first battle's like. Uh, but I'm, but I'm highly excited to, to sort of try him out, my, my first cipher. So it should be should be good fun. So in terms of the shopping spree, then what 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 has Fedora purchased? We were at about eight and a half thousand coins. We're now down to uh, as you probably saw there, two and a half. We've uh, spent a few things. Uh, so let's have a very quick look, and if I can remember what I purchased, uh, Adair. We're going for the exceptional great sword. We're going to switch to the two-handed build now. Uh, try out this excellent uh, great sword uh, in preparation for the great sword that we're going to craft for him, which just costs us three thousand. A combination of the two swords, the Whispers of Yenwood sword and the uh, sword that we got down in the uh, Endless Paths. So we're going to merge those to make this epic great sword. Uh, so we're going to get him into that kind of mode now. So he lost deflection because of this. So we've increased his deflection as best we can by giving him a cloak of deflection. So we purchased that. Uh, and that was him sorted. Nadog, we got one fine battle axe in, uh, in in the last session, but we have had to purchase another one for him because he can't have one, and Adair got a cloak, so Nadog basically said that he doesn't want to be left out and forced uh, Fedoran to buy him a, a new axe. So he's got a fine battle axe. Uh, anything else we purchased? Yes, we purchased a load of ingredients for us to be able to craft. Scrolls of moderate healing. So Jyoti's now got nine scrolls of moderate healing to help heal us in times of need. Uh, anything else? Struggling to think. Yes, we bought this clay grub figurine. Uh, opportunity to get more summons. Uh, and Fedora didn't buy anything for himself, I don't believe. He also purchased some supplies for his ship. Uh, we purchased uh, a bullet load of cuttlefish because these are really cheap and provide one to crew morale. And, and we also got some ingredients to uh, craft these hot razor skewers, which are a really good food item, uh, which gives two penetration with weapons and plus two to might and plus one to all power levels. A really good uh, <coughs> food for Nadog, specifically because of the might, to increase his effectiveness uh, against really tough battles and tough opponents. Uh, we will remember to use this. It's a food to be used when you sleep, um, and it will last until next uh, next rest. So this is a good uh, food stuff. In fact, it was uh, it was a incredible food item. So we had to purchase spices and we had to purchase some of these fish as well. So uh, yeah, uh, ingredients, and a couple of tidbits and bats uh, as well. So yeah, before you know it, your money's gone, Fritter it's frittered away. But anyway, so there you go. So we're going to do this quest now for Jyoti, and then we're going to head off back into the wide world and head across to Fort Deadlight, which is the reason why we've got Seraphen with us, because we're planning for that quest. So, I don't know who we need to speak to. I'm assuming the head honcho. Here's where I do the ritual. Right there, under the statue of Gone. Oh, right here. Okay. Leave it to me. Rubbing the back of her neck, self-consciously, 
Jyoti casts her gaze to the side. <sighs> Nothing like a homecoming to make a girl remember her roots, even if they are dried up and half dead. Hmm. She sighs, nudging a bit of mud from her boots before she lifts her face to settle on you with her big dark brown eyes. Sometimes I wonder if my brethren don't think I got black acre running in my veins. <laughs> well, uh, I often find that people fear what they don't understand. I mean, <laughs> I'm a difficult character to understand, and uh, yes, I have run across this uh, situation many times. Suppose they do. Suppose sometimes people do bad things in the name of their gods. <laughs> Adair is not liking this conversation. But my brethren do more good than bad, and more good than most. Hmm. Well, we came here to cleanse your soul, so, uh, shall we proceed? All right. Yeah, I'm ready. I've done this before, but never with such a full lantern. You may want to stand back. The, uh, experience can be somewhat intense. Kneeling before the statue of Gorn, Jyoti sets her lantern between her knees. Head bowed, she presses both palms to the copper cage. A low chant lilts from her lips. As it grows louder, the light from the lantern grows brighter, as does the lantern that the statue of Gorn holds in one skeletal hand. The two lights pulse in rhythm with the chant, resonating with each other, twin heartbeats that pound faster and stronger until the light from Gorn's lantern bursts outward in a shower of violet-hued rays. The essence bays Jyoti's bent form, making her jolt upright as a cry escapes her. <sighs> Don't know if I feel cleaner, but I feel something blessed for sure she offers you a half smile as she retrieves her lantern trembling fingers curling against the gleaming metal cage let's just hope it lasts because my lantern feels as heavy as ever full to brimming with essence like dark water spilling over my mind hmm so uh, just remind me why you are gathering souls in your lantern I was born to reap souls and lead them to the light now with Aethys dead, in these dire visions, I think I need to shield them from a hell gone dark. But the more I gather, the more my mind turns to tatters. Hmm. Well, 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 what if you didn't collect souls anymore? <sighs> that ain't gonna happen. You'd ask me to turn my back on my god? Well, not necessarily, but... Uh, let's be off. Uh, hopefully uh, you'll be feeling much better. All right. I'll be right behind you. What do you need? Okay. So she's cleansed. She's unsure of what's going to happen, but, uh, well, I'm sure we'll find out in need? due course. Don't so it's back to the... Well, it's back to our ship, essentially, so that we can uh, head out once again into the big wide world and towards Fort Deadlight, where we shall uh, confront the very first pirate we stumbled across when we returned to the land of the living. Mind if I be asking how? Faith can do many a thing, Seraphin. Add a little copper and Audra, and a normal lantern can work miracles. Aye, don't those be the tools of the Animancers, Art? Maybe. But I'm no Animancer, that's for sure. I ain't out to play God. Only serve mine. Hmm. Can't determine whether they're getting on or, or not, but uh, let them chitter-chatter away. Four hours, we're off. aboard the old Lord Fedorin, which has now christened itself in combat, if you remember rightly. In the last session we had a bit of a ship battle, which was, uh, which was highly fun. A bit of a ship, uh, uh, sort of, you know, standoff before the boarding event, and uh, we came out on top after a bit of a struggle to start with. Captain Thanik. A deck of many things. Hmm. Right, so before we tootle off to Fort Deadlight, we need to speak with Seraphin to get the lowdown on how we plan to uh, to go about our business when we get to Fort Deadlight. Yeah. 
Oh, look at our little flappy pets. Oh, bless him. No problem. You'll notice I've changed Fedora's cloak to white also. Not to be telling you your business, Cap, but if we don't set sail for Deadlight, Ben Wef will finish his repairs and pull anchor. Yes, well, lucky for you. <laughs> I am intending to sail right now to Fort Deadlight. Now, let's go over the plan when we get there. How do we get inside? Uh, Deadlight's a tough coconut to crack. But if not cracking, what are nuts for? Mm. Well, I assume that uh, a clever approach will be the most successful. Smart play for crashing any party involves scavenging yourself up an invite and then dressing to impress. Ah, well, I mean, look at the clothing and uh, what I'm wearing now. Uh, I'm dressed to impress already. It's half the battle. But, uh, uh, invitations? No, Captain, they do not. Oh. Looking the part in this case means hoisting colours identifying us as Principe. Ah. Oh. Well, lucky for us that we have Principe colours then, isn't it? Don't have to tell you how dangerous such a bit of fabric can be if the wrong person catches you flying it. Ah, so what we shall do is we shall hoist the colours of the Principe when we are closer to the fort. I've got you, I've got you. Well, in that case, we have a plan. Aye, Captain. Looking forward to watching you work. Huh. Not to be telling you your business, Cap, but if we don't set sail for Deadlight, Ben Wef will finish his repairs at Paul Anchor. Yes, well, uh, you, you also mentioned that you had contacts inside the fort. Uh, can we rely on their help? Uh, I did say contacts, didn't I? Uh, yes, you, you, you did. Contact would be more accurate, in the singular. Alas, by the name of Siri. Been running the same circles for years, doldrums and fair winds. We're never family, but uh, never on the wrong ends of arms, neither. Might have uh, shaken the sheets a few months back. Oh, 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 yes, I see. Regardless of how she feels about me, there's no love lost betwixt her and Benwith. That's for damn certain. And do you know anything of the fort's defences? Funny thing about it being a fort means it ain't a boat. Means it don't have to worry about the way the cannons are storing onkin big balls. Guns they got crowned in that castle put a hole in your poop deck before you've sighted land. Fort itself be floored to sealing rum sodden fools, so that be going for us. But Aldis keeps the crew on the walls sharp and sober. One blast of their horns and deadlights locked up tight as an adhere in mugger night. We'll stay that way too. Till any unfamiliar ships have been shot to shit and shot again. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> the way I see it, we'll fly, we'll, we'll sail in with our colours, the, the Principe colours, and then uh, once we're inside, uh, we'll seek out your contact, and hopefully we'll, before then, uh, we won't get to, won't get sprung. Later, sure, sure. Right. So, as uh, we do have Principe colours, so I hope I didn't sell them. <laughs> but maybe they're here. Yeah, there you go, Principe colours. So we, we, we hoist the Principe colours, we'll get closer to the fort, and hopefully that will allow us to sail right into the front, <laughs> right into the front door. Uh, hopefully. Through the distant haze of sea mist and rocky shadows, Fort Deadlight rises over the horizon. Approaching a pirate stronghold is a risky venture, even for the most skilled of mariners. Any ship not flying a Principe flag that's sighted in Deadlight's shallows may be raided. Abaddon's iron scrote cap them guns be even bigger than I remember, Seraphim says as he looks up at the fortress. I can be vouchsafing you with the guards if you can be getting us to dock without being blasted to bits thrice over. Otherwise, I'd be recommending the sneakiest approach you got. Yeah, we'll just... well, we've already done it, but... Uh, hoisting the Principe flag and docking right in the port itself. Bold as brass. 
With a principy flag flapping wildly from your mast, you smoothly sail into port and moor up at the dock. The docks are crawling with sailors of all ages and races, many of them wearing mismatched battle-torn outfits, guns strapped to their thighs and chests. They load and unload cargo holds, arms brawny, grinning faces some blistered as they laugh and curse and shout and hack phlegm onto the splintered boards of the dock. From the bustle, Principi guards emerge to hail your arrival. Satisfied with appearances, they nod you on and you make your way up the fort's main gate. For Doran playing it cool. Cool as ice. Casual cap. No more casual. Stop fussing. I'm, I'm, I'm the most casual person here. What's wrong with you? Right, we're in. Fort Deadlight. The Eastern Ramparts. The Eastern Courtyard. Com command. Underground docks. Forge. Court. Dungeons. Merchant. Snake Eyes Condwin. It's just to amble ourselves around, blend in. We're gonna, ha we're gonna have to ensure that we speak with the right tone as well. There's no niceties here. This is pirate country. We need to be, we need to be rude and abrupt. That dog can do the talking. <laughs> he will fit right in. How yeah, might I help you out of a bit of money, squad? Care to join our fan, or is it swilling information you're chasing? The pirate looks you over, eyeing the make of you. A sly smile curls at his mouth as he tosses a pair of dice to rattle over the cobbles ground. Hmm. Yes, uh, <coughs> yes, of course. I am an expert at this, ga this game. Yes, I've played dice all the time. <laughs> Why not? The Lord thinking it's time. This is as good a time as any to start blending in. Now, before we get rolling, let me tell you the rules. You bet on high if you think when the dice settle, they'll count up to more than seven. You bet on low if you think the count will be less than seven. Both pay double or nothing. Ah, oh, easy enough. Lastly, you can also bet on seven. If the count is exactly seven, then you win four times the wager. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. A uh... hundred pyres per roll of the dice. How much? You sure you want to risk it? hundred pyres? Ah, uh, a man such as I who sails the seas. <sighs> I can afford this. I will bet on high. Snake Eyes jiggles the dice in his hand. After blowing onto them for luck, he casts the dice across the ground and... Eleven! Looks like you've won. No, he scowls sourly as he looks you up and down, eyes narrowed. Tosses us two hundred coppers. Ah. Careful another roll. Uh, no, 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 I'm actually, uh, I've got things to do. Uh, uh, quit while you're ahead, I say. <laughs> he shrugs one shoulder. Um, I'm looking for a Captain Benworth. Uh, you wouldn't happen to know where I might find him. I ain't my captain's keeper. His captain. And I know better than to ask what business you've got with Brutal Ben. Brutal Ben? You might check the court for him. If he ain't target practicing, he's tickling the harpsichord or taking his swill. Two out of the three can be done there. But if you see him, don't fucking tell him I sent you. Oh, don't worry, I won't tell him a thing, and I'll be back later for another round of dice. For the information you gave me, it's only fair I give you a chance to... Uh, Win back some of your lost coin. <laughs> but farewell for now. So he won the wager at the swimming, and he's also won a round of dice. I mean, is Fedoran uh, Mr. Lucky? <laughs> Perhaps we can gamble our way to a fortune. Yeah. Ooh! Oh, sure. neglected doggy! Can't be having that now. What's this? It was their first hanging. Had the rope too long, so we cut the tosser's head right off. Oh huh. dear. Ain't even possible, that. It is. I'm telling you, I saw it. Hmm, how fantastic. Right. No Nut Ned. I dare not ask how he got his nickname.
What'll it be, Swabby? Right away. So we're just doing a little bit of trading, seeing what we can find. Anything that's uh, worth our time and effort. The Bloody Lynx. Wow. 25? 25,000 and it's an exceptional quality armour with 9 armour rating. Blood price. Bonus to all defences when bloody. That's, that's not a bad piece of armour. Armour rating 9. Now Dog already got those gloves. 8 reflex. A fine pistol would be kind of nice for um, for, for Seraphim rather than just a regular pistol that we've got. I could have found a fine pistol in uh, Neck Attack if I'd looked properly, but I, uh, I didn't. Okay. So there's the dungeons, or there's the court, or there's the forge. Uh, we might go to the forge first. See if there's any... Uh... Any more things to purchase in there? Might take our fancy. Ooh, oh, hey, Captain. I've got to come clean about something. Oh, hell. And that'll be as good a time as not. Hmm. Oh, what is it? I've got a feeling I'm not going to like this. Much as I hate Benwith, the main reason I signed up with you were uh, to get here. To get a chance to look for a man named Romaro. Uh, Romaro? Uh, who, who is this Romaro? Now, that'd be a longer story than we've got time for. Quick of it be that uh, Romaro's in trouble. The Prince should be have sent a ship hunter after him, and I've got a need and a half to find him first. I didn't see his ship, so probably not. But mayhaps we could keep a weather eye open for clues to his whereabouts. I see. And why didn't you bring this to my attention before now? His head falls and he scratches this scar on the side of his nose. Apologies, Captain, for not being more forthcoming. Romaro be like family to me and I didn't know you from a bilge pump. Actually, I've known a bilge pump or two. Mm. Well, uh, we shall keep an eye out whilst we are here for clues. Uh, I just ask that you... Uh, be upfront and honest in the future, if there is anything that uh, I should know about. Romaro. Uh, it could be in the dungeons. We may have to visit. Right, there is some poor sod tied to a post here. Sure. Think this will break me? Ha, it won't. Spit on me and I'll make you regret it. One day, surely. Spit in her face, good grief. Ah, uh, why are you being punished? Those hagfish. Ben West's crew lashed me up to be, and I quote, a deterrent to insubordination. It's shark shit. All I did was filch one of their rules and blast it to start lung with. I wanted to see her get all worked up. Hmm. I see. Well, we know that it's an alarm, and we're already... Yes, uh, very well, very good. Oh, blow the man down. Yeah. If maybe if we can't find him, maybe we could blow it to get him out of his hidey hole, perhaps. But okay, so we're not going to go into the dungeons just yet. We'll go to the court first. Uh, let's just have a bit of a wonder. Got it. Been slower than two slugs swiving since Aldi's put the lid on it. Winds will be changing soon enough. Is this throwing another bash for long? The uh, prisoner. To uh, wait to lift his head. Come, we've plenty to share. Whoa, there! Watch your step. The stones are a mite slippery. The pirate stumbles when he turns, slapping a palm onto the table to steady himself. In the process, he knocks a tankard to the ground, spilling a frothy beverage. Here's to ourselves. May the gods grant us more gold and luck than we can imagine. 
He raises his mug high overhead, sloshing the contents all over the damn place. A celebratory drink, is it? You bet. Our bosun just brought a treasure map. We're saluting to our future prosperity, we are. Uh, oh, how fortunate. We'll be making a proper raucous if Ung with the crag it wasn't such an accursed downer. Uh, uh, who? One of Ben Wef's guards, right up them stairs. She's like a boil I can't get off, no matter how often I lance it. Wait a minute. You mean to say you don't know Benny's crew? Ah! I'm sure I'd recognise her if I saw her. Oh, for Doran uh, slipping up there. I think you ought to meet the crag hearted. Explain to her who exactly you are. Ungwif, get down here. Swiftly now. Uh oh. Oh, bugger. <laughs> I think for Doran has forgotten himself here. Oh, dear. Yeah, sure. Run. P possibly just run. <laughs> Forging far from here, right up them stairs. Got a particular smell it does. I don't think I can pull that out. Hmm. Well, Forge is next on our list. Then the court. I don't see why not. Why in the blackest dell are you clomping around so loud? How be it. You're not allowed up here, you no good fuddlers. Yeah, you got a problem with drunks? Just got no patience for them, the bilge lickers. It's rot enough I'm posted next to the forge, having to listen to that hammer striking non-stop all day long. Add on those howling guzzlers at the bottom of the stairs, and you get the picture. Enough gabbling. The ramparts are off limits to anyone but Ben West's crew. Run off, or I'll run you through. Oh, no need to get testy. I'll, uh, I'll back away. No, I'd best escort you back. Follow me if you want to keep living. Try to sneak past if you want to die. Uh oh. Where's she taking us? Okay. Oh, <sighs> right, wonder they ain't strung you up, Cap. Best not be pressing your fortune. Yes, well, well uh, we ain't getting the, there the direct route. Hmm. We may need to find an alternative way. In dungeons or ramparts, underground docks. We shall try the dungeons first. Underground docks do sound promising, but. Uh, Hmm. They're lost power to be north of here. The brig be to the south. Right. Aha. And we have lost our stealthy character, unfortunately. Who is uh, Remgren, of course. We can open this door. What is this? Storage. Hmm? Nightcap. Hey, I got it. Why not? Gunpowders. I mean, is it is it a problem for us to be in here? Brig. So we have the brig, we have the gunpowders, we have a storage room that needs to be opened with a bit of uh, lockpicking expertise mm -hmm. from Nadog. Well, don't see why not. Storage sounds good, for loot and plunder at least. Keep your... Ooh. Where are I open? Okay. Ooh, ooh, guard dog. All 
Right, what's this? The armory. Armory's good. I'll deal with this. It's finished. Nice one. Light armor. Armor rating six, recovery time twenty. That could be good for uh, Seraphim because he needs to cast things as quickly as possible, which means that the recovery time is a bit of an issue. Um, armor rating, perhaps not so much because we're going to try and keep him out of trouble. So, fine leathers gives armor rating of six, but much better recovery time. So I think we might go for that. I think we might might give that a whirl. That again allows him to shoot faster, gain that focus faster. Yeah, sure. Cast those spells faster. What's this? Oh dear. Rising like a tidal wave above the ocean, a white stone wall which stretches into the sky, halfway between Deadlight's battlements and the rocky cove. An arched window opens into the salty air. Okay. We could lower a rope. An alternative way to get somewhere. That looks promising. We're not going to do that just yet, though. Not going to do that just yet. Definitely a promising uh, prospect. An alternative way to the forge, look. Way into the forge. Handy. So do we go into the forge from here or do we try to lower the rope? See where that takes us. Go on a weird venture. Ben will be behind these doors, no doubt about it. Where there's a pick done. Gunpowders. Ah, so this was the storage room that we have come an alternative way to. So many, so many options. So the gunpowders, uh, we've got the forge, we've got the window. Rather, I'll deal with this. It's finished. Yeah, leave it to me. Well, don't see why not. Not go through there. At the we can't at the moment. I don't think we can at the second, can we? Not by the looks of it. No. Find an alternative way in. Probably this way. Um, courtyard. Did we go in here? Have I completely bypass this area by mistake? Yes, I have. Hey, of course. I'll have a look, I'll have a look through here. Pirate guard. Oh. Is he sleeping? What does that icon mean? Right, he's. Ahoy. Oh, look at our bloody thing is all crooked again. Ahoy. He has Ahoy. he has got some stealth, not much. I think he's got like two stealth. I'm going to give him a mixture of stealth and kind of um, what's it called? Sleight of hand. Oh god. Jailer. Got some jailed people. Not that we should be concerned with people that are uh, inside cells at this moment in time. We're not here to break them up. We're not here to you know cause a, 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 a well, jailbreak. Aha! Boots of stealth! Extra stealth. How handy is that right now? 
I don't think it's a problem for us being here, but just in case it is, we'll... Right, so that takes his stealth up to four. That's good. Well, it's not good. It's, 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 it's average, but it's uh, it's good that we've got an improvement. Uh, and they'll help uh, also Remgren even further. Buccaneer. Jailer. Do we risk being seen down here? At this moment in time, probably not. Especially since that's not the way, or possibly not the way to Benworth. This is just a this is, this is just a test. This is just a test. I don't know what this eye icon means. We're no. Okay. Yes, we, we're not supposed to be here. Right. That's fine. As long as I know. As long as I know, it was just a test. I assume we shouldn't have been down there, but it, you know, it's just it's just nice to know because there are you know, if we if we're out if we are allowed, there is uh, other stuff we might want to explore. Right, so we've got to be careful then down here. That does confirm it. We, if we get to we, we're getting to Benworth, we're gonna have to sneak past a few guards perhaps, but uh, that could be an issue because the entire party is not good at sneaking. Right. Hmm. Ahoy! What am I done and done? If this guy is just going to stand there, what does that eye icon mean? Does it mean they're blind or something? Yeah, we're not getting that way, are we? Ahoy! We're not getting that way. Now we could cause a scene. Is there a switch in this room? I mean, if there is, I mean, yeah, his perception is pretty good. His perception is actually 16, so it's, it's high enough to spot things. Could be this that we need. Oi. Well, I'm done and done. Kind of thinking, you know, if we can sneak past and get round and pull this lever to open this door for the rest of the party, that could be a possible outcome, but... Can we actually sneak past Chappy here? Because if we screw this up and fail it, I'm not going to reload it. You see, so I know this. I know the consequence. We could throw a, like a, a distraction bomb, couldn't we? Like a something around about there, like a little bomb thing. Distract. What the hell just happened? Oh, balls. Okay, so she's not interested. The ones with the eyes over their heads don't appear to be interested. Spellblade. For whatever reason. Ooh. Swashbuckler? I'm kind of confused as to what's going on here. My fingers be fat and furry, but they're easy breezy, wet and slaty. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, well, we... we, we uh, no, we're not. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll leave it for a second. We'll leave it. If we let's just open this gate. In fact, let's shut this door. Huh. There we go. What do you need? I got it. Come on through, my friends. Come on through. Oh, 
Oh, the cult. Cookie Mane. Cookie Mane are going to be a bit upset if we trample through here. So it wasn't the it, well, yeah, it wasn't the forge we wanted, was it? It was the court. It was the court that we wanted to get to for Benworth, not the forge. But uh, I've got a feeling that when we're finished on this uh, fort, the whole place is going to be up in arms eventually. Anyway, <laughs> we're just kind of prolonging the agony. We'll go to we, we go to where we know Benworth is. We know he's potentially in the court. There is that window situation. There's the forge, but we'll visit those places at a later time. Hmm? My eyes are peeled. Hey. Sure. Cookie Mane. Yeah, we, again, we won't risk getting seen before we need to be seen. This is going to cause a massive problem, isn't it? When we just rock up into the court and he sees our face. <laughs> Surprise! Well, me, Captain. Before I go introducing you to Siri, I should uh, mention something. Hmm? Yes. What did I tell you outside about letting me know this earliest opportunity? If there's anything I need to know, you should tell me. Go on. I might have said things to Siri when I last dropped anchor at Deadlight. Just lovers' words savvy. But I can't say I rightly lived up to them. Not I ain't seen as a problem, just a possible wrinkle in the old chart. <laughs> hmm. So she'll be upset then when she sees you, I take it? All I'm saying is, uh, you see her go for a pistol, you best step away from me. <laughs> okay, so we are in the court. I think we've got a bit of time left, so we'll, we'll, have, a, we'll have a quick mooch about while we're here. And see, uh, see what we can get up to. Oh, Seraphim's levelled up. Give him a bit more stealth, why not? And level four. Now that I've looked at the level four spells last time, there weren't a great deal that I was that impressed with. Armor rating. Self buff. Robust. Uh, this one doesn't look too bad. Again, it's not, it's not it's a damage based one, but it does stun the enemy for six seconds. What's an AoE? Does raw damage too, or well, there's that one which is uh, a mind lance against a single target. Major pierce, major pierce damage. I think we'll go with this, with that one. And another proficiency. It's going to be a one-handed ranged weapon, so we'll we'll go with an, an implement, a wand. Uh, scepters are quite good because they offer two forms of damage. So we'll go Scepter. Okay. What for, Cap? One of my eyes be open. Why? Right, so just go have a ponder. Now, what have we got here? I do believe I'll recognise this god's damn chest. Huh. By Andra's salty bosom. Romaro hold this chest from one end of the dead fire to the other. Yes, yes, well, uh make it quick. He flips open the lid to reveal an empty chest. He doesn't seem disappointed, however. He reaches into the chest and gropes about before being rewarded by a clicking sound. A false bottom slides out from the chest, containing a single folded piece of parchment. Hmm. He holds on to it, uh, to his nose, uh, inhaling deeply. Ah, uh, uh, what does it say? Dear S, <laughs> that be me. I knew you'd seek me out. Please abandon the trail here. I've fashioned this predicament for my own, and I'd not have you lock its weight round your own ankles. If you find yourself imperiled, seek Udina at Magic Water. She can help. You fall silent, staring at the page for a while longer. Yeah, there's more in the letter? Nay, Captain, that be over and done with. Certainly got what I came for. Thank you, kindly. Hmm. And do you know this Udine? I don't know Udina from Wardmange, but Magic Waters, I know like my own fucking name. 
Were I were a wee lad fresh on the sorcerer, Romaro would treat me to the luminous bathhouse at Nekitaka. Ah, the luminous bathhouse. Yes, well, that is quite the treat, I will admit. Oh, the water there shimmered like dawn on the open sea, and I, <laughs> full flush with the poetic creativity of youth, called it magic waters. Ah. I know you don't owe me the favour, Captain, but if we could find our way to that bathhouse, <laughs> I'd not hold it against you. The lesson, of course, sir. Uh, you asked. Of course, Fedora does not need an excuse to visit the luminous Adra bathhouse for a second time. This is music to his ears. <laughs> yeah, for now, though, we've got plunder and pillage before us, I. Ah, yes. Plunder, pillage, take care of a pirate captain, and then a relaxation session in the luminous bathhouse. Ah, sounds like a perfect uh, couple of days' work to me. Yeah, I got it. Fedora's spirits lifted right. somewhat. Aha. Palm slats. Good for crafting our... Keep your... Our, um... Healing scrolls. Open. What the hell is going on in here? Oh, it's blood. Oh, it's offerings to Skane. They're about to steal. Uh, an Antonia signet ring. Plus two to all defences, and when engaged, plus two diplomacy. Oh, when engaged, and plus two diplomacy. Quite a good tanky type ring. I think we'll give that to a dare. There we go. Here you go, dare. Pop that on your little finger. Enjoy the boon it brings to you. Okay, so that's, uh, this is the ramshackle temple to Skane. Nothing doing there. Oh, going in there is going to be a problem. To command? At some point, we're going to have to spoil this. We're going to have to spring the surprise. I'll be supposing we easy breezy. Easy breezy, lemon squeezy. Sleazy. Ooh. Ooh. Yourself a look at that, mate. Seraphon is off like a good one, isn't he? He is off and running. Uh oh. Le Monde. Door barred from the other side. Celebrant. Again, I don't know if we need to be seen here or not. I don't think we would need to be seen here. Back down to, let's back out to Fort Deadlight. Before. Oh, the forge! So the forge must be part of the same building, perhaps. And that goes back out to where that captain took, chucked us back down the steps, I would, I would reckon. Maybe. Oh, it's bugging me. <laughs> I want to pop out of shadows and say, Hi, you got anything to sell? We'll still take it that we're not, we'll still take it we're not to be seen. Yeah, command. So it's all part of the same building, isn't it? Command we saw outside, so there's command here. The court is probably this kind of central building here. We've got the shrine. We're, we're gonna have to go in through the doors here. There's no other. T there's another. We could try our hand at command, but we were said that we were said that Menwith was probably here. So. Uh, a Lord's foot and an heavy bullet, our cap. Do we do it? Do we go in? Do we do we uh, announce our arrival? I think we do. We've come this far. Let's see uh, what happens next. In the next session, of course. So uh, join me next time when we shall enter this here room. It is down as uh, red action, so I've got a feeling that it's not going to go too well. It's going to cause a bit of a scene, and uh, yeah, well, our little, our little veil will be ripped off our face. We will be, you know, reveal for who we truly are, and uh, the rest of this godforsaken island will probably want to uh, rip us limb from limb. Happy days! So join me next time for that. Until then, see you soon.